Hey guys, so this vlog you're about to watch is from the Joel Wood Vault. It is two years old. I filmed this two years ago and I actually broke one of my memory cards last week and so I took the opportunity now, whilst I was transferring old stuff from my broken memory card to my new one, to clear out all of my old memory cards and I found this video from two years ago and I did think about just deleting it. And then I thought, Joel, no, post it. It's content. People might want to see. They might not. And some of you will know this isn't the first one that I've released from the vault. There is another video I released earlier this year that is also like three years old, I think. And some of you really enjoyed it and you are like, thank you so much for releasing it. So I was like, Joel, someone might really enjoy this, so I need to post it. However, I have finished editing and I think my vlogging skills were not good two years ago. I mean, some might say they're still not good now, but they're definitely better than they were. I just think the camera angles are a bit dodgy, they're a bit shaky. But you know me, I doubt myself all the time, so I'm like, oh, it's probably boring. But I know that not everyone will find it boring, so... <laughs> Way to sell yourself, Joel. Literally starting a video with telling you it's going to be boring. It's not. It's going to be fun. I hope you enjoy it. So let's crack on. Let's go back to two years. Oh, I was 28 or 29 when I filmed this. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. <laughs> channel, I said channel. <laughs> uh, we're going to Devon. We've got a road trip. Oh, my cost of coffee is falling apart. The um thing is coming off. Um. We have just stopped for lunch. We've been driving for a couple of hours. I say we, Lucy's been driving, which makes a change. I know. Well That's done. Okay. I'm never the passenger. I'm always the driver. <laughs> never the passenger. Um, Ava is in the back and uh, yeah, we're meeting our friends down in Devon. So it takes about four hours to drive there. So we're not even halfway, I don't think. And we're running late. So I think we're gonna have to meet our friends at the pub we've booked for dinner rather than at the Airbnb. So what are we like, eh? <laughs> This is Ava's song. <laughs> Sweet but psycho. <laughs> this song is by an artist called Ava Max, and her top song is Sweet but Psycho, which is so fitting for this dog. Sweet but psycho. <laughs> right, we have just arrived, and um, we've driven past our house. We've actually got a booking for dinner at the local pub at 5 p.m and we were gonna be late, we've just arrived and it's 5 p.m. so we're gonna come, we've come straight to the pub for dinner and then we're gonna to go to the house. But our friends are about half an hour away so they're gonna be late. But this is the little village and it's so quaint. So that is the pub that we're going to and people live in these houses. It's a little village called Iddersley. There's a post box there, telephone box and a defibrillator. And we have parked just down here. I'm desperate for a wee. Um, and I'm hungry, even though I just ate about five hours ago. This looks like a little church. Yeah, we'll go. Say, like, our friends are running a bit late. We've arrived. We were right, well done on driving. That was like four and a half hours. We left at what time? I don't even remember. Maybe 12. Yeah. So near at five. Five, five hours. Maybe. Gosh, well done. Thanks, hon. gotten my nice clean trainers muddy. I said to Lucy this is what happens when city people come to the countryside. I'm like going around the puddles like this and the the locals are probably like just just don't wear nice trainers. Um, but yeah never mind I got feeling I'm gonna get very dirty this weekend. Already got dirty from Ava's paw prints earlier. Never mind. <laughs> oh what just happened? No! And what is it? A Ted Baker handbag. <laughs> what was I just saying about city people coming to <laughs> I dropped my Ted Baker handbag in the mud. I haven't even said anything. No, you haven't. This is all just me. Oh dear, because I distracted her. I was trying to get a shot like this. Like down low while you're walking. That's good. Creative. Oh dear. It's a sign of things to come, I think. Are you having fun? Yeah. It's just great. Right, Lisa's gonna go clean her purse. <laughs> so this is the pub. There we go. 
Right, our friend should be here in like 10 minutes. So we've come in, we've gone for a little bit of a walk. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. And I, I'm feeling a bit of wine, maybe Prosecco, maybe a gin tea. I don't know, I'm gonna go for it. What are you doing? <laughs> we ordered five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, dinner is done and I've arrived in my little bedroom. Here we go, it's a lovely house. I'll give you a tour tomorrow. Um, but I've got the bedroom downstairs and I actually really like it. I mean, the thing that scares me is I've got a door there to the hallway and a door here to the living room. I don't like rooms with two doors. It freaks me out because it means I don't know where someone might come in. <laughs> but other than that, it's a very nice cozy room. Got a single bed, I'm not used to sleeping in a single bed. Um, got this, which is very farmhousey, very nice. And then got a chair here. This leads out onto the garden, and a, a big patio door here, which I, again, I'll show you in the morning. But what I like about this place is that every single window, there are so many windows in this place, but they've put in black up blinds, which means I'm gonna sleep amazingly. Right, had a lovely evening of playing lots of games and stuff, but guys, had such a rough start because shortly after I put the camera down when I gave you a little tour of this room, in the living room, I noticed like around the house being like two or three bottle flies, blue bottle flies, like the big ones. And I was like, why are there some, like a few flies in here? Then eventually sat down in the living room and could just hear all this buzzing, looked up and I'm not joking, it went from being like about 10 flies to 20 flies to about 30 flies, literally in seconds, like, suddenly there's flies everywhere, flying around, buzzing, you hear them hitting the walls. I was like, what is going on? This was disgusting. Like literally flies everywhere. And we're like, I don't know what's happened because yes, we've been outside and it's pitch black outside and the lights are on in here, but we don't really get that in the UK. Like there aren't that many flies, even if I did leave the door open, but there's just too many. I don't know how they're in here. So we literally turned the lights off in that room, turned them on in another smaller room, lured them all in there and then killed them all and there was literally about 30 or 40 or 50 of them so disgusting we don't know how they're getting in they must be coming in from somewhere but all the windows all the doors are shut luckily my room my bedroom is on the ground floor next to the living room luckily there's no flies in here so it's a problem in the living room and the airbnb host must know that it's a problem because there are two fly killers in that room so they obviously know that they get lots of flies. So when she comes over tomorrow to say hi, we're gonna ask her and be like, what's going on with the fly situation? Cause that was like a horror film. I was like, I'm not staying here, but I am. So it's bedtime. I'm gonna go to bed now. I have not been in a single bed for a very long time. I feel like I'm a giant compared to this bed. Here we go. Hopefully I won't fall out in the night. This is literally how I used to sleep when I was younger, right against a wall in a single bed. Right, it is the afternoon and we've just been shopping. We went for a little, little walk into the village. And then we've had lunch and been playing some games, but it is now time for me to do an audition. So basically on the journey down here, my voiceover agent called and was like, oh, you're being considered for this massive job with this big company that I'm not allowed to talk about. They were like, I know you're on holiday right now, but can you record it and send it over to us by Sunday, which is tomorrow? Um, so I'm gonna spend about an hour now prepping for that and recording it and editing it and sending it over. Um, and then after that, I think we're gonna go for a nice little walk in the rain, because it is so rainy today. Look at this, it's just miserable. But yeah, it's, uh, it's time to do the voiceover audition. As I was packing my suitcase, I grabbed my microphone and put it in my suitcase, and I was like, why are you doing that, Joel? And I was like, don't know, you never know. Good job I did. Dry. You're so dry. Just apart from this section. Yeah. The upper thigh. Yeah. Good. In yeah, in your brand new coat. Brand new coat. Whoa. Ooh. Parkour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bit wet, but. We should be in Florida right now. That was I what this holiday I'm was. Going. Yeah. Here. I know we're in I'm the going. rain.
gotten a little bit lost. We climbed all the way up the hill and it's like a proper hill, like rocky and uh, muddy and wet. There's water everywhere. There's a massive rapids down there and a waterfall. And then we realized we went the wrong way, so we had to go all the way back down. And then now we're going all the way back up, but on a different side. So hopefully we'll make it. We're trying to make it to this tea room where we can get coffee and tea and scones and jam and all sorts, oh my gosh. Look, it just drops off the edge there. I'm really worried about Ava, but she is doing okay. Ava absolutely loves water, so I've been worried that she would run into the waterfall or into the rapids, but she's been good. And I'm trying to be less of a panicky father because I'm like, Ava, Ava, come here. And I'm trying to just let it go a bit because Lucy's a bit more chill than I am. So, um, yeah, I'm trusting her. And so far, it's working. I should say as well that apparently this place is called Dartmoor, which I've heard of. And ironically, when I think of Dartmoor, even though I've never been, this is what I think of. Wet, rainy, dark, water everywhere like this. Oh. And it's beautiful, but I just want to know, I'm going to Google it when I'm home, but leave a comment down below if you know where Dartmoor is featured, because I'm wondering if it's in novels like Jane Austen novels or Bleak House or, you know, the ones where they start in the moors and stuff like that. I'm like, I wonder if this Dartmoor is where stuff is set. Um, but yeah, I'm going to Google it when I'm home, but it's absolutely beautiful. You just get views like this. Hey, bud. <laughs> a strange man is following us, <laughs> and I've made up in my mind that he's a murderer. Oh. There we go. This is a very steep hill. It's a nice view though. We've just stumbled across a little village. Over here. Yeah, it's like a cool thing to go to. Ava. Good girl. We've just had a lovely drink at the Tours. I think that's what it's called, the Tours. Oh, I had a berry cider, which was very lovely. <laughs> um, and now we're going to drive back home. And I think we're going to cook dinner. I think we're having fajitas tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Lucy finally doing some work this holiday. Opening the gates to our property. I never did a property tour. I need to do that at some stage. Yeah, this is the garden. Does she? Can she wait for my vlog? Or is she really excited? She can't wait. It took us ages to find the space. How are you feeling this morning? Good, thanks. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling great. I've got a bit of a, not a sore head. I do feel, we had <laughs> quite a lot of Sambuca last Flaming. night. Flaming. Flaming Sambuca. We set it alight. I've actually got a video, so I'll insert that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, put it oh. out. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in. Oh, it's <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> the taste is good, but, but no, it's lovely. Good to get yeah. some fresh air. Oh, it is. Ava's loving it. It's much less wet. It is. Is that not the most relaxing thing in the entire world? Just that sound? And the view as well. Look at this rapids. Anyway, I am behind. I uh, stopped to go for a wee. Lucy and Ava have gone ahead. So I need to find them now. I'm so thankful that I'm a boy. That I'm allowed to wee wherever I want. I know Leah has a she-wee. And so I think that's revolutionised her. Her weeing outdoors because she has a fake penis. A purple penis. I'm blessed that I've got a real one. Jump in. No. Yeah. Just to stop the wind. Yeah. So down the side of our house, we've got a huge garden, and then there's sheep 
in that field and a pony and it's just lovely so this is our garden we didn't actually sit outside at all because it was so gross weather but yeah there's normally cows in this field but they've been moved which was a shame really because i love cows and that is it i'm sorry i never actually gave you the tour of the house are, are you surprised no i'm a terrible vlogger or i was back then i'm a lot better now but thank you for watching if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and leave a comment down below i'll try to reply to as many of you as possible also don't forget i've got memberships available on this channel so if you want some exclusive members only videos and live streams consider becoming a vip member um it's less than a price of a coffee per month so i think it's quite a good deal also if you just want to try it out you can try it out for a month and you can cancel at any time so you're not roped into any contracts or anything like that so there's lots of content there for you to have a look at if you would like that don't forget i'm also on cameo if you want personalized videos birthday messages anniversary wishes whatever it is then i can do that for you thank you guys for watching as always and i'll see you soon bye god i'm sweaty <laughs>